We're living in the 21st century, and yet, 32 years after Harvey Milk was killed in this very city for being gay, that kind of hatred is still showing itself in other parts of the country, other parts of the world. And so I'm here today to tell you, as a gay Latino man who is in an elected office, that we're not gonna stand for it anymore. And so I'm asking you today to make a commitment to make sure that we, as a people, that we as a country are committed to civil rights for all. Because until that happens, unless we're willing to say that every human being is worthy of respect, is worthy of recognition of humanity and dignity, that is not going to change. So I am here today to ask for that commitment because it has been a long time coming. You know, I have been in Puerto Rico and Puerto Rico is a beautiful country. It's a country full of beautiful people. And in fact, in fact, the LGBT community in Puerto Rico is well and live. But the fact that it can happen in Puerto Rico tells you that it can happen anywhere. And so we, as a people, and I don't mean just LGBT people, we mean as a human people, if we cannot make that commitment, that will continue to be the case. This is a wake up call. I mean, we're talking about the 21st century. We're talking about almost a year away from the first decade in the 21st century, and yet this is happening. What does that say about where we are, not only as a society, as a country, but as a people? So I think that we need to commit ourselves we need to look at this teenager, this beautiful human being, Jorge, and say, Jorge, your death is not in vain. We, going forward, are committed to making sure that this never happens again. And to the people of Puerto Rico, and I have to say, as a Latino man, Puerto Rico, un país muy bello. Pero qué clase de país deja que esa clase de acción pueda pasar en contra de uno de sus ciudadanos. What kind of country can let something like this happen to one of its citizens? That is not the kind of country, that is not the kind of people we want to be. So thank you so much for being here today. San Francisco today stands at the forefront and it reminds you that we as an LGBT people are connected throughout the world. Doesn't matter what happens anywhere, we are one people and what we're here to say is this is not acceptable. We are not going to stand for it. Thank you very much.